Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, I will show you that how to move an object uh, or a character on a path. So it's actually a pathfinding tutorial, which we can use uh, with the Unity Nav Mesh. So I have uh, this a simple scene set up uh, with a plan and a cube. The cube will be used as a clear. And the second thing is we have a plane which is uh, actually a floor. So let's create a, a path. So and for this reason I'm just creating another plane. And uh, This is our path uh, I have made to the planes. So let's first make it navigation static. So go to select all the planes and then set it to navigation static. Now the next thing we need to do is to go to Windows and then the option is AI and navigation so then you can see this you have navigation static option and generate off, off mesh lit and navigation AI option so I have this mesh renders which I have set, selected and saying it this is you know is, this is the walkable area and then I go to bake and just like that okay and before this we have to save the scene and I'm saying in AI navigation okay now let's click it and this should be selected as the plane should be selected as a navigation static but not make every area so this area the me major plan of plane we want to use as not whatever area and the rest of this panel which are in gray color will be used as the walkable area so just select it and try to decrease the radius okay so now you can see that we have this walkable area available and our cube should be moved on this area so let's place them in one of the corner of the area of the walkable area and now let's add navigation nav mesh agent so this is our nav mesh agent attached and we are providing it agent type and some of the default settings now create a script nav mesh agent controller okay so let's open this script and get the reference of navmesh agent navmesh agent ok the first thing we need to do we have to add get component and attach navmesh agent ok so the next thing we want to get input and on the input we will make a raycast on the floor so that we can get uh, a click position on runtime 
like let me set if this is our environment and I'm focusing my main camera so whenever I click a specific position on this uh, path the cube will move to that specific position and so now uh, let's first get input dot mouse position sorry input dot get mouse button down zero so that we can get an input so now we will create a ray array is equal to camera dot main screen point array and input dot mouse position Okay, so this line will say that we are using our main camera to ray uh, to the mouse position. So now let's get physics dot recast and provide this ray information. The next thing we want to do we provide thousand distance and thousand distance the second thing we want to put recast hit the head position will be out from this function so it will be hit out hit. and the next is the okay so this is our current set uh, let me check what is wrong okay now it's really right so if we check that if we we'll just provide we we'll just get the hit dot transform dot position sorry hit dot point is the nice thing destination. this is our move position so now let's have dot mesh page agent and set destination to the hit position So let's run this. Okay, we have some error. There's one more bracket here. Oh, so right now we click on this position, and the cube is moving towards this position. And it has get stuck at this location let me find out what's the problem here okay so as you can see that we have uh, this we have this gap between this board so it's unable to jump at this point so let's move this uh, make it slightly bigger and then bake again so now it has join with this location and it will move correctly let's click again so now our cube is moving perfect so it's just going to the location on click it's getting the path and we don't have to care about anything between the path so what will happen if you have some kind of specific obstacle uh, like if you on a path you have a stackle let me widen this a bit more 
and just make it again and just put one more obstacle here you can select it as not walkable area like we did with other liner or the second thing you can do is to just add go to cube and add obstacle and mesh obstacle and now let's run this and I'm just clicking it here so let's see how it's avoid this cube oops it's not avoided and let me check what is the problem let's assign a a different color so that we can see it clearly the box size is right let's run again and I am just to go here and click okay so it's provided very clearly let's assign it a different material so you can see it clearly So using the nav mesh we are able to write an AI system that uh, a character can walk on walkable areas. So thank you for watching. If you have any query you can comment and I will answer it inshallah.